What we're talking about today, in a way, is the file equivalent of what we talked about in the last video, which is with directories. We're saying, uh, basically, we want to access a directory if it exists, and if it doesn't exist, we wanted to create it in the last video. And in this one, we're saying we want to open a file if it exists, and if it doesn't exist, then we want to create the file and then open it. We always want to open it because we're basically using it for some kind of system that uses a file to remember things. And there's two situations where you need codes like this. One is if it's the first time the program is running so that the directories and files don't already exist because the program's never run before. And another situation is when you're adding new territory, so to speak i.e. you're adding a new external hard drive that uses a system in a different way or something along those lines. And basically what we need to do is determine if the, the directory or file exists. And if the file does exist, then open it. And if it doesn't exist, then create it and open it. And the file class is excellent for this. It has all kinds of methods that are designed specifically for this kind of purpose. And specific uh, methods are exists, which uh, is in the file class, open text, which is in the file class and outputs a stream reader object, creates a stream reader object create text which is in the file class and creates a stream writer object and then open text which we already talked about and then once we have the text file created we're going to be writing to it using a pen text which is another type of of open it's saying it's in the file a class and it produces a stream writer object but it's saying this file, we know this file already exists, so open it and don't overwrite anything. Append to the end of it. Leave whatever's there there and start appending to the end of it. And in order to append to the end of it, we use the write line, which is in the Streamwriter class. So in order to write this test program, we use a form that has a list box called LBX names and a text box which I think is TXT names and then a button which I think is BTN add names and the basic idea is we have this file that remembers names and when the form first comes up the list box lists all the names that are currently remembered and then we can add new names to it, append new names to it by pressing the uh, add name button and whatever is in the uh, text box gets added to the list of names and also added to this memory file. So if we what runs when it first comes up is the load uh, method and in order to access the load method just put the uh, pointer on the uh, title bar of the form and double click and that'll take you into form load and as you see we say stream reader which is a stream reader object RE and then we call a function we wrote called open text file and we pass it a file name and this file name is a file constant I like to use string constants that are capitalized with underscores between the words to show that they're a constant and they're not going to be changing in the program. And there's a number of ways you can specify a string constant that's a directory. You can use this at symbol and then use backslashes between the uh, directory and subdirectory names and the uh, text file name. Or you can take this at sign off the at sign basically says don't treat the uh, backslash as a special character that's an escape character. And if it is an escape character, what you can do is put two backslashes, which says escape character backslash in effect. So that'll put in a single backslash, putting in two backslashes. 
or we can just use a forward slash which is an escape character and which also works the same way but why don't we uh, use the convention of using the at sign since we used this technique previously just put in uh, regular backslashes and then put a at sign which says don't treat the backslash as a escape character and that gives us our directory and file name and then when we do the open file at system load time we use this uh, file we wrote which is up here the open text file and it passes the file name which is that constant we just looked at and then it has a local variable that's a stream reader type and then it does a file dot exists which is a static method on file with the the file name and if the file exists it just go ahead and opens it sets it to the local re variable and then returns the re variable because we have a return type of stream reader and one thing you should know if you're going to use file and stream reader and stream writer or directory as we did in the last one so you have to specify a using system.io because this is the namespace that contains those functions so in the open text file uh, if the file exists we open it and return the stream reader object but if it doesn't exist we create a stream writer object using the file.create text and passing that file name which creates the file name and then we immediately close the uh, stream writer object and if we don't close the stream writer object either use close or dispose uh, you'll get an error when you try and open it for for reading because it'll say it's already opened by another process so we do the close and then we do a uh, file dot open text to open it gets our uh, local stream reader object and then we return that stream reader object so that return stream reader object then goes into the stream reader object of the uh, the load event and once we have the uh, open stream reader object we do a uh, listbox.items.clear to clear out anything that's in that list box if we're running things over and over and then we do a uh, read line to read in the first line of the text file which the read line is a member of the stream reader object remember we have an open stream reader and then we check if we've got any lines and in fact if we just did a create of the file we won't have any lines this input will be null so this while loop will say if uh, input is not null then start adding things to the list box but the fact is it is null because we just created the file so just skip the uh, while loop all together and do a close on the stream reader object if however we've run the program before and there is lines in this file then the read line will actually read in a line from the file and the while loop will say input is not equal to null that's a true statement so it'll add the input to the uh, list box and then it'll read the next line and just keep reading lines and putting them in the list box until it runs out of lines in the file then if we go back to our form and look at the code behind the add name button you see that opens a stream reader object using the uh, file dot append text which says this file already exists we know it already exists and there may already be data in it so if there is data in it leave that data there and start appending after that data and then we check to see that there actually so is something in the text box that the length of the text box isn't zero and if it isn't zero there is something in it so we do a list box items add to add the content of the text box to the list box 
and then we do uh, wr.writeline which is our stream writer object to write the contents of the list box to our memory file and then we do a double wr close to close the stream writer object and th it's important to do a text names dot clear at that point so you clear out the data that got written into the list box in the file because if you want to put things in over and over it gets to be kind of a pain to have to delete what's in there in order to type something new in so this clear is really useful from a user point of view so the file we're using is the iDrive slash backslash test backslash names dot text if we go to the iDrive with Windows Explorer we see that the test directory does exist on it in fact we created it in the last video but if we double click to go into the test directory we see there is no names.txt file so let's try saving and running this program And you notice when the program first comes up, the uh, text box or the list box is totally empty because we just created the names file and the create the file if it doesn't exist code. But there's nothing in it, so the, we skip the while loop altogether and there's no uh, names in the list box at all. But if we look in the uh, iDrive in the test directory, we notice the names.txt file now exists. So it wasn't as though the code did nothing. It did create the file. And now if we start adding names like uh, Marshall, which I'm almost sure I'm spelling wrong, And uh, Lily, and Ted, say. And now if we close this file and we run it again, you notice that the three names Marshall, Lily, and Ted got remembered from the memory file so they're in there and if we can we can now add more names such as uh, Barney and uh, who's the other person I can't think for the life of me think of the other woman's name so I'll just call her Canadian and add that and then if we close the program and then run it again you see we have those names remembered so it basically works the, if the names file doesn't exist it creates it and you can add to it and it, every time you bring up the program once it does exist it remembers what's in there and appends to it which is what we had in mind well I hope you uh, enjoyed this lesson and learned a lot and don't forget to subscribe.